Good Sunday evening, everyone, and happy single de Mayo. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Deanne Roberts. News 2 is your local election headquarters, and we are bringing you continuous coverage of the 2020 presidential race. Weeks after announcing his run for president, Pete Buttigieg is in Charleston today for a town hall meet and greet. News 2's Taylor Murray is live at the North Charleston High School. That's where that event is taking place. And Taylor, things just started about an hour ago. That's correct, Deanne, and I have just stepped out of the auditorium. It is completely packed in there. From wall to wall, people are gathered listening to what the presidential hopeful has to say. Now, Mayor Pete Buttigieg has actually just taken to the stage moments ago, and this is actually his first stop in the Low Country as a presidential candidate after announcing just weeks ago. Seeking the Democratic nomination, he is currently the mayor of South Bend, Indiana, and the youngest in the race. And as the race for the White House is picking up speed, many presidential hopefuls have made South Carolina a priority for their campaign. Buttigieg is following suit, and I just spoke to some supporters waiting in line just moments ago, and they tell me what they want to hear from the mayor tonight. I want to hear Pete's views on public education. I'm a retired school principal, and uh, I think he's a progressive. I think he's a very articulate, dynamic young man. A new perspective, a different perspective than what's going on right now. I'm most excited to hear about his plans to help South Carolina families. You know, we've been having education problems here in South Carolina. Just this past week, we were all in Columbia supporting teachers having a pay raise. So education is one of the most important things that I'm here to hear about today. Now on the News 2 at 11, I'll speak with Mayor P Pete Buttigieg directly and bring you more on what he says he's fighting for. So stay tuned for that. But for now, reporting live in North Charleston, Taylor Murray, Count On 2.